Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Dead, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. And honestly, whenever we open this map, there's a wry smile on my face, I'm not gonna lie. Look how far that we have come from where we started. We are the masters of Anatolia, the masters of of Asia Major, I guess you would call this now as well. The masters of Egypt and soon to be the masters of Greece. I'd even argue that we are potentially the masters of the Aegean right now with all the islands that we own around here. And yes, it is time to smash the enemy. Now I have found out why last time we were, I was complaining about having no money. Apparently there's a uh, anti snowballing script that if you go above 200,000 gold you uh, you get an anti snowballing script that will remove some of your money so we're just going to plop all of those in so just to test this out so we shouldn't go over 200,000 gold so we should have about 200,000 next turn and then the turn after that we're going to test it out and see how much money we should have versus how much we're losing due to the script as well uh, which is yeah which is fine. Which is fine. I definitely wasn't annoyed when I find that. When I found that out. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, but yeah. Let's keep on going though. We are in a good situation. We've got our armies marching. I think it is definitely time to send Antiochus back for retraining. He will likely end his life at that point. Not him personally, but <laughs> likely his life will end before he even gets back. But yeah, we... This is such ragged and rough and far away terrain that I think if we are going to have a recruitment hub around this region, we're probably looking up at Armaver up here because it, they're so spread out, these settlements, and so hard to get to and find that we do need a bit of a recruitment hub up in one of these regions at least. So yeah, definitely want to uh, get that in. We were building, weren't we building like a recruitment hub somewhere else? Oh, also, Ahowl did let me know that I think we've got an Armenian uh, recruitment. Oh, we do. There we are. Over here. So let's get rid of that. Luckily, it's not going to take us about 200,000. Oh, we can actually get these guys out now. Fantastic. Right. Well, Selefkos, my good friend, old Selefkos, let's get you out. Four command already. You are only 28, and you've only fought one battle, which is actually quite glorious, I've got to say, my friend. Well done. You're doing a very good job. Um, yeah, that's not fantastic. How bad is this? 35% from unrest. Culture penalty, 50%. Distance capsule squalor. Oh, dearie me. Well, I was hoping we could leave. <laughs> it doesn't look like we can. So for now, we're just going to pop you back in there and try and get this place happy. Um, what is that Armenian army, by the way? Horse archers and stuff. What do we have here? I mean, I think we could beat that with this army. Then probably send it back for retraining to Antioch. Where were we actually getting the garrison troops? It was in here, wasn't it? Cool. Well, we'll end the turn there anyway. We'll leave them there for now. If they do actually try and take Edessa, we do need to go and take it back ASAP. Because Edessa, of course, is a very good settlement. Uh, we've got all our spies moving everywhere. Got a lot of them. I think it's actually worth probably just leaving you in there so you can see those settlements, my friend. Got a diplomat on the way to see the Sirachis. Uh Well, while we're here, let's talk to the Bosporans. Let's get some map information. I'll give you map information back. The most generous they proposal. accept the offer. Of course they do. doesn't matter giving the uh, giving the AI map information, guys. They already know where all your settlements are. So never worry about that at all. They just pretend that they don't. Uh, when in fact, of course, they do. <laughs> they are the AI after all. Uh, we've got you. You have uh, met up with your little friend. Got the elephants going into that army. That is going to be a very fun army. I'm not going <laughs> to... Full cataphracts. Uh, if we come up against phalangites, it might not be quite as fun. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun no matter what. I don't know where to send that army though. That's one thing. Probably to Greece. They won't have seen anything like this in Greece. They'll be very scared. 
And uh, yeah, they'll all run away, hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Uh, we've got this army. Oh, yeah, you're going after the settlement. And, f oh, are you kidding me, man? Really? Really? It, it has been rioting for about a million turns. <laughs> and now they finally rebel and go back to the fools that are the Ptolemies. I cannot believe it. What a terrible, terrible, terrible turn of events. But anyway, um, we've got Mithridates. I do absolutely love the name Mithridates. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a fantastic name. Um, I've never met a real a person called Mithridates in real life. If you guys have, comment down below. And while you're at it, like and subscribe, guys. Make sure you are liking these videos because... You know, I think this has been a pretty epic campaign, if I do say so myself. And uh, if you have enjoyed it, I would really appreciate that support. Uh, but yeah, cool battle. We're going to be fighting on a river, it looks like, a river crossing. Hopefully both of their armies are on the other side of the river. They should be. Um, so this should be quite fun. Let's go. I will see you there, guys. Glory to the Seleucids. Let's go. Grim and terrible day. A grim and terrible day, my friends. Um, so, looks like there are two crossings. Uh, doesn't look like there's anywhere else. You can see them on the map. Um, we just want to check, though, by looking at the river. You can see this one. It's like this coloration. This coloration on either side. That's how you tell. Uh, so, I guess we're going to... Guard them both. The one thing is, a lot of units, especially lighter units... Oh, well, let's just guard this one with the Chalka Speedes. This one with a smaller detachment of a Gira Speedes. Uh, in this mod, a lot of units can actually swim. So, yeah, we want to be slightly wary of that. What I will do, though, is, is have my archers situated in the middle here. So they can either choose each side. And again, this is not saved. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why it will just save the other one, but never save the one that I want. I, I don't know. It's weird. But anyway... Let's get the Theroporoi. They'll probably very likely get behind here. Or should I say that the Thurioforoi. <laughs> we'll get these boys in here. They're the more elite boyos. And the cavalry, you're not probably going to be used until the end. So we'll keep you at the back. Now, we do still have to be wary of guys crossing the river. So, in fact, we'll probably spread a few people out. Uh, but, yeah, for now, should be quite good. There we are. Let's zoom out. And let's get... You guys won't get there, will you? Let's get, like, here. You go there. And potentially here. Good. And the Thurio Foroi. Let's get you in behind. Archers-wise, this is actually quite a good map for the archers. Because they've got a little bit of a hill here. To fire over the men. And they're just going straight across. That's something I like to see. Can we actually see the settlement? No, it's probably hidden behind one of those hills, unfortunately. But I do love it when you can see the settlements in this game. Got a little bit of farmland over here. Very nice. And there the archers go. Should be able to go and fire now. No one's crossing, the, uh, crossing and swimming. Wait, how can you get all the way over there? That's quite wide. So apparently those guys can get all the way over there. Let's get our Greek guys in here. And also let's bring our Hypastas across to deal with them. Oh, they've just, the, the general's just charged. It's the only way for you to succeed, my friend. Just charging. And there go the Javis. Now we do have to be wary of this second army. What is this? Hillmen, Light Spearmen, Light Spearmen, and Pontic Guards, who are a very good unit. Here they come. Look at them. What a glorious, glorious unit. Let's have a look. We're doing very well in here. Some of you have requested that I... Uh... There we go. Push them back into the river, my friends. Push them back into the river. Now, Thurio Foroi, get in there. Go fight the uh, Galatian Warband. They're actually a good unit. So let's make sure we get the Hypastis in over here. Looks like they're all going to go for that. If they do, then there ain't nothing stopping us using our cavalry in the best way possible. Round this way. 
I don't want to force them any other way. And they've also got some uh, of the old Pontic Chalka Speeders. Nice. There we go. We should be winning this quite easily. Uh, we've got our Thurio Foroi in there now. High pastis. Yeah, we are winning. Let's do a few nice uh, little uh, shots in here. See how they're getting on. A few of you do like to see uh, a few more cinematic shots. Like so. And at the minute, we don't... Oh, there goes the uh, the phalanx. Nice. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Come on, Chalka Speedes. Get going, my friends. We've got the Galatian Warband around this side. The Thurio Foroi. Trying to fight them. Got our high pastors here ready to come into the fight. But we've also got them here as well. Oh, and they are such a glorious looking unit. That's their king. Of course it's their king. There we go. They start running. Let's get that back on. So, yeah, we've got to kill everyone here. So, I do kind of want to send my cavalry across. But I want these guys to get in to this river crossing first. I mean, is it even worth bringing you across? Maybe to get into the, into the action. And we'll just leave you as the sole proprietor, the sole defender. I tell you what. River crossings in Rome Total War are so satisfying, aren't they? Almost as satisfying as Napoleon, but Napoleon and Empire, they're just something else because <laughs> it's just canister shot central, isn't it? Now that is proper, proper fun uh, when it's canister shot central. Well, let's... They're nearly there. So let's speed this up slightly and then let's go. They've all committed. So let's get the cavalry across. And what we'll do, we'll probably send the seven men out there and the 28 out. So 28 out to them. Seven men there. And let's get these boys round, ready to charge in the back. And also the general. Why have I not got the general? Let's get the general. Mr. Andragaras, the handsome. Yes. Some Asian light spearmen there. Let's get into the fight then, my friends. It's a very wide river crossing, isn't it? You guys get forward. Let's go. Very wide river crossing. And we don't really need to charge our cavalry yet. Just because of their phalangites, they'll be a bit too problematic if we do. Oh, they've already started routing. Come on, man. What are you doing, man? They're all... They're all... They're trying to fight each other. Apparently, there's some inter-regiment uh, inter problems right now. <laughs> there goes the cavalry. Let's get this off. And let's have a look. The, Pont the last stand of Pontus, my friends. The last stand of Pontus. Trying to force their way across the river. Force themselves back out of their mountain prison they call a home. That has been made a prison by us, of course. Look at them go. Oh, beautiful units. I love the Pontic helms. Look at those helms. The uh, the ones with the designs on. The blue ones. Very nice. This is quite brutal so far. Look at him. He's swiping at my men. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Let's uh, halt these guys so they actually get their pikes down. Get them. Right then. Let's go and have a bit of fun, shall we? With the cav. What have we got at the back here? We've got the Pontic Chalka Speeders. They've not got in the fight yet. That's the major problem for us. Here we go, boys. Oh, I just, just ran over them. <laughs> Didn't even need to do anything else. A gear of speeders. You can't actually... Oh, no, 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 no. Go into them. This is a nice little phalangite battle we've got going on. Perfect uh, situation for the phalangites is protecting a river crossing, of course. Uh, right then, men. Men, get over there. Glorious! Glorious! They're already wavering, I think. Those Pontic Chalka Speeders, though, are fine. You guys have run out of ammo. Wow. was not expecting that one. 
This uh, Thurio Foroy. Let's try and get engaged over there. Can't. Where's my high pastists? Where's my high pastists, boyos? Ah, uh, you're both chilling. Uh, well, we don't need to use you. Um, just get like in here, if you will. Um, cavalry, cavalry, what are we doing? Did I say to do that? No. <laughs> you crazy bastards! Just running straight into a uh, phalangite unit. Well, I think it's time to. Uh, if we double click, they should. Do that two steps. No, 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 no. I thought if you double attacked, they do the two steps forwards, but I guess not. So, they are doing quite a good job, I've got to say. Well done, Phalangites. I know I've bagged on you a lot. But you're doing a good job, my friends. For once. Looks like they're trying to stab their own men. They're very upset with their own men. Where are you, Aguirre Speedez? You guys. There we are. See if we can walk across. This should help out. They're just all walking crazily. Like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's not great. That's what I've got to say. It's not great. <laughs> Glorious battle anyway. So far. Um, the poor hillmen here. Let's just go and wipe them out. Speed everything up a little bit. We can't, we can't do what they're doing. That's the problem here. They, they're going in like the parts of the river. The, the, the horsemen can't. Ah, we should be able to clean them up now. There we are. Nice, good. Oh, looks like the, uh, their, uh, their guys have got into the fight now. God, it's a mess, isn't it? Well, look at this phalangite action going on. Let's go for the charge. Get it on slow-mo. And let's get that off. Let's get it on for a second. We'll, we'll just play... Uh, we'll just wait for the charge. And then we'll get it on slow-mo. Here we go. This is it, boys. This is it. The glorious charge of the cavalry. The Seleucid cavalry. Bang. Let's go. Here they come. Nice. Oh... Not enjoying that, are you, my friends? That we won't enjoy this if they turn their phalanxes. Apparently, he doesn't like it in uh, in this mode, in slow-mo. <laughs> Do we break everyone? Let's get out, get out quick before the uh, phalanxes kill everyone. Poor Pontic Chalka Speeders don't know what's going on now. Get them, get them. Get them. Taken quite a few losses, honestly, considering it's a bridge battle. But of course, you know, Phalangite versus Phalangite, they're going to just kill each other, aren't they, quite a bit? I didn't mean to have this open. Oh, look at that. Brutal fighting going on between the Phalangites. Their Chalka Speeders are doing quite well, I've got to say. Well done. Right, let's get these guys trying to get across. Speed it up. Um. Uh, We'll get out of the way so they will actually retreat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they won't retreat at all. Get them. Oh, the Pontic Guards have come back. So let's get the Cataphracts in there. Uh, General, go after them. Same as you. Nice. Oh, we fully surrounded them now. They should be falling apart. Broken. Good. Killed them all. Here come the, the Cataphracts for the boys. They're all tired. But it's fine. The Pontic Guards. There we are. Glorious. Let's uh, wipe everyone out. <laughs> As usual. Very nice little battle. I thought we just killed... Have we just killed him twice? And they're not fighting to the death. So I don't know why they would put their phalanx down. Looks like they want to do it anyway. Kill these guys. And these guys. And then, yeah. Ah, oh, another nation is destroyed, my friends. And nine, only nine men survived. Wow. We are sending a message to Greece right now that they should be wary. They should be scared. But anyway, let's get back onto the campaign map. Here we are. And come on, game. <laughs> come on, game. 
Come on. Really? So... That was our only option was to kill him, really. If we didn't, hadn't have killed the guy... So, yay, great, Pontus is destroyed, but... <laughs> no, no, no. Where are we going down to Zranka? We got these two boys. They might have a big big garrison, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. Um, But we're going to try it anyway. See whether we can snipe a few of these rebel settlements. And if we can get a general out of this, that'd be great. Suitable husband. You're 50. Why are you so old? We need young men. Not old men, okay? <laughs> Not ones that will die soon. In this game, at least. Right, Parnassos is very, very upset. Um, incredibly upset, in fact. And they've got a pretty decent garrison. Got anywhere that we can maybe boost this up slightly. No, not really. I mean, I could put elephants in there. That's not something I want to do. That's probably just come out of nowhere. And Bacorus, of course, rebelled to the goddamn Ptolemies. Luckily, they don't have much of an army. Uh, well, looks like the Ptolemies have now have two settlements, guys. Wow. They still can't recruit, though. So that's good. Let's go and find this settlement anyway. Uh, it might be worth diverting my men, then. Across to this other settlement. Where are you? You're in here. We've got those boys now. Is that going to be enough? I... I kind of want to get two archers in there as well, just in case they do have any of those horse archers, those Nubian horse archers, uh, just to take them out. Of course we're the most advanced faction. What are you talking about? Of course we are. Of course we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. So because we made more money, we are now down to 116,000. And I have only spent money on... Like, I've only spent about four, probably... Seven or eight thousand? So we did lose quite a significant amount. No, less. We've only spent four thousand. So rather than getting two hundred thousand, we had eighty thousand taken away. Wow. That does seem quite excessive, I'm not gonna lie. Eighty thousand? There's no point going over two hundred thousand then in terms of gold at all. Now, what do they have in here? Just absolute trash. But that has screwed us quite significantly. Because now we've got to take that settlement. Um, I wonder... I don't think an auto-resolve would accept this. I don't think it would say we were going to be the winner here. Let's have a look. Oh, it does. Let's go. 78. Actually, not bad. So, we got to take the settlement anyway. Good. And Pontus is finally fully destroyed. It was a slower war than I was first expecting because, of course, it was a war of attrition initially. Um, a real war of... Just, just a really slow war, to be fair. <laughs> just a really slow war. Um, because of all the public order issues that we've had... Yeah, it's, it's been quite a slow, slow war. Right, let's get you in there. Let's see. Can we leave Karasus, Karasus now? With Antiochus Zabinas, the black sheep of his family. Looks like we can because it's a Greek settlement. So I think this army is, is pretty weathered. <laughs> Pergamon, though. How far away is Pergamon? I mean... It's good. We were we were also making a recruitment hub somewhere. I just can't remember where. Was it? No, we've just taken Kamis. Oh, god damn! That's annoying. Sorry about that. It does that all the time now. What's this? Shrine to Tsovenar. It looks like it's on a second line there. It's kind of like uh, making it two lines. Mazaka's a very good place though, isn't it? It's got vineyard. Everything you need. Uh, do we have the recruitment building there? No. I'm sure we built one somewhere. No. Did I... Uh, trying to remember, guys. Where did... Well, did we not build it because we didn't think there was anywhere that was that 
good for it. I mean, here at Kamana, Pontos is probably the best option. I mean, Amicia or Kamana Pontos. Well, while we're here in Amicia, we are not native culture Greek, though. That's one problem we have here. It is uh, Anatolian, so we'll have to build several things for it. What is Kerasus? It's just a large town. If any of these were native culture Greek, that would really help. Uh, but I don't think they are yet. Anatolian. Assuming this is Anat... No, that's Celtic. Amicia will definitely be Anatolian. Yeah, Camisa. Yes, so now we are going to struggle, really, to build a recruitment hub. It's worth building it in, though, just in case we get to the point where it's going to be good. So, Antiochus Sabinas, looks like you're going back to Pergamon, my friend. I'm very sorry about that. Or Sardis, at least. Yeah, you'll get to Sardis pretty quickly. Uh, and we are starting to get some high pastis there. We're getting a gear of speeders in that one. Or the, sorry, the reformer gear of speeders. So, what are our options here? How long will it, yeah, you're not going back that way. We might send this guy around this way. And then he can follow up and go up through, through the roads there. Up to here. But you, my friend, you're going to go straight through the middle. Up to Gymnias. Gymnias. Is this still our land? No. Ah, uh, we just passed it. I should have built it there. Oh, but this is... Oh, this is all their land anyway. Oh, yeah, because of this settlement. Kamach. This army's pretty battered as well. But I think we're okay. Who's that? Neoptelemos. You go round there, my friend. These, some of these settlements are so nestled in the hills. <laughs> what are you? You can't actually join. We'll wait one turn then before we leave. Oh, they've got some armies guarding. Good. Well done. Clever. Uh, clever Cappadocia for once. And yeah, I think we're quite good. What are you doing? Oh, we had that settlement that's really not happy. You're also not happy. Parnassos. See if we can try and make them a little bit more happy. Once all those buildings have rebuilt as well, they should be back to being okay. Maybe we send both of these guys, because Ankira's still happy. We'll have this public order from cu uh, culture quite a bit. Uh, who do you want to... I, I kind of want you to go to Kamisa to reinforce that army. Because this army's too far ahead now, so... Elephanticles. Let's go to Kamisa. So now we've only got two armies on this front line again. We do have, of course, this army in here. Um, <laughs> I very much doubt we can leave. It might even be the case of just leaving Selefkos in there. Yeah, back down to zero. <laughs> uh, how about Selefkos and these archers? I just want him to lead the armies. There's no point in him not. But they're a very unhappy bunch, I've got to say. We're going to need more of these boys if we can. Uh, and yeah, we're getting our cataphracts. I mean, the cataphracts, we, we've got the, the choice to go wherever with them, haven't we? Right, let's have a look at our Spartan holdings. Our Greek holdings. Yes. Very good. Messene. I think, yes, honestly, let's auto-resolve this. This army is not hugely valuable either. So, 192. Not worth playing that. It'll take forever anyway. Oh, look at the Achaean League. Hello, my friends. Oh, what? Is this just all a Spidophoroi, that army? That's actually quite OP. <laughs> Fair play, AI. I respect that. Right, and while we're here as well, because it's native culture Greek, we don't need to worry about anything, really. They've got the Temple of Dimos and Phobos. Oh, glory, glory, glory days. Let's get that recruitment hub in there straight away. Are we building it over here? We are. Only one more turn to go, and we can actually retrain all of those boys in there. That's fantastic. That is what we like to see. We're going to have two recruitment hubs on this island, uh, on the Peloponnese, should I say, straight away already. Very good. Antiochia Medias. Let's get that in there. And they still have 
Whatever this settlement's called, I can't remember. I can't press on it either. Oh, well. Right, in the north, where are we moving? Because I think we can end the turn. Oh, no, we've got to build. If we can build everywhere, which we might not be able to. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that script, man. It has screwed us. Screwed us, screwed us, screwed us. And we're going to have it every time because we're on 216,000 now. But as long as our money keeps going up, I'm assuming it's not going to just limit us to 120,000. I'm assuming it's scaled somehow. That would be good if it is. <laughs> uh, right. You guys, again, look how small this army is. It's been through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. You come down to Karakata. And we'll probably get some watchtowers set up on our borders so we can see any enemy incursions. Right, let's get back to the construction. And Antioch got the academy. Good, I like that. Let's go for the irrigation. Oh, it's very close to getting over the line. So let's go for the scriptorium. That's only four turns, so that's fine. Antiochia, Migdonia. Let's go for the military building trick, as usual. Ephesus, same thing again, guys, the building-wise. Uh, Zadra Carter. Let's go for the Odeon at Zadra. Oh, no, we've got a general in here. Let's go for the Academy. Uh, Stakra actually upgrading now. So let's get the Spice Road. Very nice. Nice and spicy. Same thing over here. Because even this, 6,000. Oh, Alexandria Ariana. Wow, you are a rich settlement. How much is that going to increase it by? 800. That's what we like to see. Very nice. Right, Alexandria Ariana. Jerusalem. Let's go for potentially... It is Greek now at Jerusalem. Good. Merchant's Quarter is quite expensive. Let's get the Academy for our governor there. I know he's quite old, but it's fine. Uh, Ladokia, Libanos. Let's go for the Secret Police HQ, potentially. How Greek are we here? Not very. Uh, well, I think, you know, we can try and expand on the Greek in this area. That would be quite good. So let's go for here. Let's just go for that trade income bonus. A bit of a cheap building. Nice and cheap. Kelonai. Let's go for that for the extra law. Even though it probably doesn't have any law anymore. Any law problems. Pantheon one, one turn. Wait, one gold. One singular gold. One gold. So, apparently this is due to a wonder that reduces the cost of religious buildings. So, we've got the mausoleum. Reduces building construction times by 20%. So, that's fine. Temple of Artemis. The temple reduces the cost of new religion build religious building by 30%. <laughs> One gold. One gold. I thought last time 500 gold was ridiculous. <laughs> One gold. Asphalion. What a man. I hope whoever's in here with you. Oh, there's no one. Well, we're going to need a governor in there at some point again. That is insane. Look at the trade going up through here now as well. Fantastic. I love to see it. One singular gold. That's Phaleon, the magician. He has just he just makes it out of thin air, <laughs> apparently. What a beast of a man. Let's get that temple. Uh, Nippur. Go for the scriptorium. Uh, Hermosia. Go for those militia barracks. Apamea Regiana. Yeah, let's keep going for that law across everywhere. That's just going to make us so much richer. Iasonia. Let's get the academy. Aganzana. I literally don't care about any of those settlements up there. <laughs> We've done so little building in them. Tagai. I mean, they've got a little bit of building now. Let's go for that second colony Greek and let's see whether we can start converting a few places. Same with that one. Uh, Passa over here. Yeah, it's cheap. Nikea. Let's go for the river ports, probably. Nice and cheap and also makes a lot of money. So same thing there. Sidon got the trade caravan. Let's go for the spice road. Uh, my Lissa is building. Ptolemaeus Phoenike. Let's go for the... Quite a decent settlement, actually, Ptolemaeus Phoenike. Let's go for the dockyard. 
Going to make us some more money. Samaria, let's go for the population growth because it's only on 0.5%. Uh, Nidos, let's go for the market. I can't believe Nidos doesn't even have a market, man. Gadara, let's go for the law. Telmesos, let's go for the market. Patara just upgraded to a large city. Nice. That's what we like to see. Let's go for that dockyard. Nice. Um, for Salis, I've just kind of resigned myself to knowing that we're not going to build in every settlement now because of that 80,000 gold that has been robbed from us. <laughs> that has just been hoarded by apparently our, our leaders and our generals. They like to hoard the gold, of course. Uh, no corruption in our empire, though. <laughs> No corruption for the regional governors, but for the uh, for the management, it's fine. <laughs> you know, sounds a bit like real life. Uh, Rhodes, Rhodes just doesn't really have anything worthwhile building. Build a recruitment hub. No, we can build something better in Rhodes. Uh, any, uh, sorry, elsewhere. Practice rage in Kos. Arsino Crocodilion. Oxyrinkos. Let's go for... The uh, again, there's not that much worth building here. Temple of Hera, definitely though. Hermopolis, probably the Temple of Hera again. Alexandria, Susia. Let's go for the Agora and then Hibis. Let's go for that one. And uh, do we have enough? We do probably have enough. Don't believe there's going to be anywhere else we can build. No. Unfortunate. But that's how it goes sometimes, my friends. That's how it goes. Uh, right. Let's get you up here. See, these are Greek settlements, I believe. Is this Trapezos? Yes, it is. They are Anatolian, but I think it would be native culture Greek. Trapezos. So, that might also be a good option for a recruitment hub if it wasn't a large town. If it wasn't a large town. You go and have a look at this one. And you can go, like, round that way, I guess. Round here. And then, have we got... Do we have a diplomat about? Because I do want to... I mean, you're talking to the Sirachis, so let's talk to them. Oh, look at that. That's a large city, my friends. Uspe! Alliance? Of course. Trade rights? Of course. Map information for like, I don't know, like 10,000. Still be generous, I bet. It's very demanding. Really? Really? Do you not know how big our empire is, my friend? 5,000. 240 gold. That is just insulting. That is ridiculously insulting. But I'll give you like, I'll give you 240 for your map information. How about that? No. <laughs> well, that's one uh, diplomat we have. Uh, we got cakes. You're in Nicomedia. Right. Let's go speak to the Adrissians because there's no point us being at war with them. In fact, I would like them to join us in war versus the Macedonians. Or should I say the last remaining Macedonians? Because <laughs> um, look, the Antigonids have some pretty fat armies, and so do these guys. <laughs> Um, we do need to take Sparta. Six more turns until that's done, though. Good. And, uh, yeah, we've got an alliance with the Sirachis. We do like our nom uh, nomadic alliances, don't we? But of course, of course we do. Because they are the strong boys of this, uh, <laughs> of this land and region. We like to, uh, we like to have a few strong boys as our friends. Ah, uh, we've got the governor, uh, it's not the governors, we've got the guys coming across and that's also another thing we want to do is definitely make sure we're getting governors in the greek lands because they will become so rich i know it's so lot so far away from our capital but i will not move our capital i know if i move the capital to antioch i probably would make more money guys i know that but thematically we are keeping it as seleucia just for Let thematic reasons they want to become a protectorate, but basically take every single region they ever had. <laughs> but I will say, you become my protector, and I will offer you a ceasefire and map information and trade rights. And accept or we will attack. Surely. 
you jest. They see no end, no reason to end the fighting. Clever boys, clever. Well done. <laughs> no reason whatsoever. I can't think of a single reason why the Ptolemies would want to stop fighting. So let's have a look now. This is pretty much exactly going to be 220,000, which we'd get. So we went down. We were, we were re removed 80,000 last time, pretty much. Okay. This is a battle. Those two horse archers are going to be OP as hell. I think, I think we should fight this because I think this will be closer than the game thinks. I mean, have we got any big battles on the way? Potentially with the Achaean League. I mean, it says we're going to win. So let's just, I mean, draw. Oh, that's why we should have fought it because otherwise it'd be a draw. Oh, it was the last turn. That's why. Okay, let's enslave then. And uh, they're instantly reasonably happy. Let's get you down to low. Uh, and let's see. Can we get you out of here straight away? Yes, we can. Fantastic. So, okay. So that time we got about 220 and we went down to 140. So I think it's about 175. It probably reduces your cash back. Sorry, not 175. About 75,000. We can live with that because I think... We can probably sort that out. All right, let's build a watchtower in here. Even though we have no money. <laughs> we are so poor, guys. We're so poor. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but hopefully that will allow us to build everywhere again. But I very much doubt it. We were also building, like, a lot cheaper things for a bit. So that probably did help out. Um. Oh, okay, I was going to say, is that the soccer? <laughs> If that's the Sakurauka, we are screwed. But it's not. Uh, new family member. Alipius the Mean. Nice. Where are you? I like the sound of you, my friend. Alipius the Mean. Oh, you've actually... You've supplanted the 67-year-old because you're so much better than him. Oh, tough times for that old man. Tough times. <laughs> uh, but yeah, end of turn report. See, look, net. 87,000 net. So it says end of turn balance 295,000. We're actually at 141. Hmm. Oh, Marsayas. Oh, cool. Well, I think you, my friend. Let's. We'll, we'll basically have. Where were you? You in there? In there? Yes, you were. You're going to be our first governor on uh, Greece. How does it feel? How does it feel? You should feel happy and proud. You are a, a one governor. Very good. <laughs> a fantastic governor awaits us in Greece. There you are. So we're going to keep swapping the navies, basically. One will go one way, one will go the other. Uh, so let's get you off there. In fact, we should probably send you over this side. So we can keep advancing. I'm not too bothered about retraining these boys just yet. I don't think we need to. Right, Tribactra has expanded. It's going to be a tough one with that one. It's going to be a while before you actually expand. Naxos has expanded. Nice. Good. And Daskelion. Good. A lot of them just one turn to go. Uh, did we get our Ellie's in here yet? No, not quite. But we need you to get retrained, my friends. Retrained. There we are. Get you in. Put you to the front. Uh, yeah, we'll do that building in a little bit. Let's let's move our armies. So let's go up to the north. We can actually nearly reach Taxilla with this turn. Good. Glorious. You now. Now we can see Taxilla. Let's come up into the north because I know there's a few little settlements up and around these regions. How about up through there? That's actually not accessible. So I think it might just be this one. And then let's go east and just see all the settlements around this region. This is going to make us very rich as well. He didn't like moving then. That scared me slightly. I thought we might have had a crash then. So you're coming down. Good. You're going to have a look down the main river. See what settlements we can get. We've got elephants over here as well. Nice. 
And, of course, these roads don't connect between our lands, uh, which is slightly unfortunate, uh, but it's fine. And then you boys, like we said, we've already moved all you. Good. Right. Is it time to move you boys yet? No. One more turn. How are we looking here? Let's have a look at what garrison they've got. Not that bad, actually, unless they have cataphracts and then it, they are quite bad. <laughs> Which they might do. They might do. No, they don't. They've got absolute trash munchers. Fantastic. Yes. Good. We haven't had this this region since the second turn, guys. Or third or fourth. Whenever we abandoned it and whenever it rebelled. That was when we finally... <laughs> our last time owning that region. They have been independent for a very long time. Alexandria itself is not that rich compared to some of our other settlements, unfortunately. Right. Antiochus, my friend. Let's keep on coming. Down to Sardis. Let's go. There we go. Wait. Oh, oh that's the uh, guy in Sardis. I was so confused and I was like, that's not, An that's not Antiochus. Zabinas? That is not Antiochus. All right. You... You, my friends. Right. Is it time we can leave? And Dragoras the Cruel? No, why is he so cruel? He was a handsome man five minutes ago, and now he is seen as a cruel man. Uh, 55. Oof. Not quite what I was expecting. Let's get the Shrine to Hera, though. That's 10%. 65. We should be okay. Okay, the reason why... They won't let us go through that way. It's because of this army. So let's go around that way. So you've moved. Now we've got this guy far behind enemy lines. <laughs> these, these areas are just so difficult to access. If you didn't have the map information, you have no idea where you're going. <laughs> so I am glad that we do have that. Uh, let's keep coming up. Checking for settlements. So that's those two armies moved. Three armies, should I say. Uh, how is the army coming along in Pergamon anyway? Yeah. Going well. That'll be eight. Plus. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, 14. Plus a general, 15. So, yeah. That's space for four cataphracts. I think this army will go for the Hetairoi. Because we've not actually used them very much. So, I think, yeah, that's a better option. Let's go Hetairoi. Uh, that's not, 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 not recruitment, just uh, recruit them just yet. So, yeah, you guys are going to be very close to being able to move soon. We've got our recruitment hub now in Githion. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think we need to recruit anything just yet. But that's fine. Right, I think that's everyone moved, isn't it? Let's do our building again then, guys. We'll go off the construction screen. I know we missed some buildings last time. But we'll just go off the constru construction screen. You are Greek now. Good. Let's get that militia barracks for that law. Hecatompolos. This guy's 48 and he's a 0, 0, 0. How disappointing can you be, my friend? How disappointing. Gabai... Uh, let's go for the large temple of a hero, maybe. Not that much to build there, really. Alexandria, Carmania. Let's go for that crop rotation. Try and get it a bit of growth. Lycompolis. Hmm, you are Greek already? Good. Uh, not really that much that's useful. Let's go for the shrine to Taiki. Smyrna. Let's go for the crop rotation. Antiochia Saros. We can see we've pretty much built the barracks. <laughs> all the first level barracks everywhere now. Let's go for that Shrine to Hera though. Uh, Seleucia Kalikadnos. Let's go for the market. Loranda. Let's have a look. Yeah. First level barracks again. Kadoi. Riverports definitely. Very nice. We'll start to diversify a little bit out, out of the first level barracks. Seeing as we built them everywhere. Wait. Did we do Kadoi? Yeah. That one. Uh, Kiros. All the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, everywhere just has them built now, so. 
Um, right. Arados, let's go for that second level shrine to Hera. Apamea Syria, let's go for... That irrigation is cheap. That's good. Uh, Ladokia Paralos, let's go for the Agora. Biblos, uh, let's go for... Oh, you're already building, of course. Heliopolis Syria, let's go for that Militia Barracks. Baroya, uh, probably the Aqueduct. I mean, the Great Agora would be good as well, but it's quite expensive. Let's go for that. Get a bit of extra population growth there. It's not got much. Heropolis. Let's go with the Militia Barracks. Apamea Zugma. Let's also go for the Militia Barracks. <laughs> Asur. Let's go with the... This shouldn't have corruption here now, so let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Gauzana. Let's also potentially go for... I mean, it shouldn't have corruption, so let's go for the Aqueduct. Akrabai, let's go for in here. You do have Hera, so let's just go back that up. Artakana, let's go for the Agora. Militine, uh, Militine, actually not that much here that's worthwhile. Let's go for the Academy, though. Uh, Antiochia Persis, let's, I mean, is it worth the shipwright? Apparently we'll trade with somewhere else, but I don't think... I think they'll be too far away. Let's try it anyway and just see what happens. Bizpoutis, let's go for the Agora, my friend. Tyre, let's go for the... Uh, are you Greek? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Let's go for that Shrine to Taiki. Just nice and cheap. And brings in some extra um, trading income. Same with Philadelphia. Iope, let's go for that cheap market. Memphis got the Academy. That guy might start getting a few more traits now. So, yeah. You are Greek as well. Let's go for that aqueduct. Aqueducts are relatively cheap and give a nice bit of population bonus. So, always quite good. Amethus. Let's go the Odeon, just in case. You never know. Samos. Give our people a bit of happiness, you know. Oh, look at this. 75 for the Shrine to Hephaestus. For the boys, let's go. Kibera, let's go with that market. Megale Apollonopolis, I even said that right, wow. Let's get that stables in there. Uh, Tiana, Tiana, hmm, interesting one. Let's go for the Hera. Gordion, let's go with... Uh, let's risk it with that Colony 1 Greek. Let's try and bleed Greek into this region. Dorylion, let's go for the market. Mazaka, very rich settlement. Large mines, let's go. Kamana, you're already building. Pessinus. Uh, Pessinus, let's go for the... We've got no law buildings there, to be fair. And Dragorion, let's go for the market. Maracanda, let's go for the public bass. No, you're 31. Let's get the academy. You definitely can start adding to the income over here. Because Maracanda, 7,000. Nice. Eumenion, let's go for the uh, market. Kauris, hmm, Kauris, there's not really that much. Just the practice range, really. Daraspa, Daraspa, not even that rich, surprisingly. So let's get that Shrine to Taiki in there, try and bump up that uh, that uh, money. Polyrenia done, Oxiana, Oxiana. Now, Oxiana should be getting richer and richer, but... Let's go for the sewers for now, just to make sure we don't get a plague in this region. Anisiopolis. Again, not hugely rich. So some of these areas, like, are quite rich, and then some of them are not so much. Amisos up here. Let's go for the shipwright. I know it's quite expensive, but that's fine. Ah, Berenike Dieres. Let's go for the sewers while we're here. And then Githion. Also, like we've said, has got that. Let's go for that Hippodrome. So we can get good cavalry in there. Uh, Nymphaios. Nymphaios is just such an unhappy region. <laughs> I think we need to risk going for the Odeon. And trying to put it on games. Kerasus. Let's go for the trader nice and cheap. Kamisa built the roads. The roads only go one way, unfortunately. 
Parnassos, your building. Yeah, Parnassos. Camisa? Yeah, all of you are things that we've taken, aren't they? Fine. Good. You've moved. Uh, right, let's have a look at our list, though, anyway, and just try... No, firstly, we've got money. Let's try and retrain all these boys. We're not going to be able to afford everyone, but we can retrain some. And, yeah, we got the city barracks, and we got native culture Greek here, actually. So we need to upgrade to the next barrack level. We need to get this up to a city as quick as possible. That's another reason why the sewers are probably quite good. Right, let's uh, let's end the turn then. I don't think there's any more battles to do. So let's see. There's that settlement. We get to see it now. Good. Got all our spies moving around. So Atropatine still owns quite a bit up there. It seems like it. Good. They are our buddies after all. Our buddies. Oh yeah, we were going for a Drissio as well, weren't we? We're going to have a look for a try and get some of the old Adrician uh, alliance. Getting some nice tactical alliances now. There he is. There he goes. Go on, my son. Get the alliance. Let's go. Nice. Right. What, what are you doing, spy? Come on. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. You're going to get stuck, aren't you? Oh, come on, man. Well, at least we've seen all these little settlements up here. There, And there are a few right in the corner of the map. You're going up there. Yeah, fine. You're not going to be able to get in, are you? Nope. Well, I don't think we could leave by Thineon. Uh, Right yet. But we'll check. We'll see. And if we did, we could go for that battle, couldn't we? Against the, uh, the Celts. Trying to pretend that they are hiding. <laughs> and uh, big emphasis on trying. <laughs> That's Cappadocia trying to bribe us again. Come on, you fools. I can't believe we lost uh, whatever it's called in the middle. Is it Ekbatana or Edessa? Sorry, which one? They both begin with E, okay? <laughs> now, where is it? That's the other question. It's quite a big region. It's there. Ekbatana, yeah. I can't believe we lost that to Atropatine. Oh, God. Right. You guys get moving. Nice little army, this. An absolute ragtag bunch of rogues. But a nice little army, nonetheless. Uh, yeah, you stay there. We don't want you to move. You now are coming around this way. Go and have a look at that one. Look how many... Why have you got so many watchtowers? Watchtowers watching each other. <laughs> Looking straight at each other. Atropatine doesn't look too happy with this arrangement, to be fair. If they could go and, you know, start attacking someone. Oh, Atropatine, they've got a big army here. You know, if you could help out a little bit, that would be quite nice. Now, from the Toggle Fog of War, I don't believe they've got any more northern settlements than this, but we will go check. I think we end at the Caucasus. But we can go check anyway. Uh, and you're coming up here just to check again for these northern settlements. So keep going. Right, let's start moving the troops again. We've got Antiochus Sabinas. You look at the paved roads. I can't wait till we can get highways in 0.6 for these Greek nations because that's going to make movement even easier, even better. Fantastic. Right, Antiochus Sabinas has moved. Are you back being happy now? You are just about. Just about. Uh, okay, you rioted slightly, but not not too bad. <laughs> right, we'll get there. And we're going to force our way through these mountains. Into Cappadocia again. So we're not going to do that battle just yet. We'll leave it. I want you to retreat into your settlement. I want to... Hound you down because, or just outside your settlement, so that I can do a nice little draw out battle in the mountains. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? 97% here now. I think we do need to wait the time out for the Odeon before we can leave there. Get I? Are you kidding me? What? 
What? What? No way are they the most advanced faction. I'm sorry. That is bollocks game. Come on. We're the Seleucid Empire, bro. They're just a, a band of roving barbarian fools, okay? We are probably more violent than them, to be fair. <laughs> let ceasefire. Right, well, let's reset them. Let's give you uh, 10 gold. So, just so you know, guys... Regretfully, we must decline. You can't Be accept quick. the gold! Our patience is limited. Right, ceasefire, I'll give you map information and trade rights. Surely. Okay, yeah. So, generally, guys, if, in case you don't know, in diplomacy, uh, <laughs> although it doesn't exist that much <laughs> in uh, uh, Rome Total War, if you, uh, quick. if you ask for something and they decline it, they are very unlikely to accept the next offer and... St and, and Unless it's, like, overwhelmingly good. So, uh, always try and... Re you can reset them by giving them a little gift. But, unfortunately, they didn't even accept my 10 gold gift. What bastards. But, uh, it's fine. You get in there. Right, now we've got to pick our next target. That's the real question. Who do we choose, my friends? Who do we choose? And I'm thinking the uh, the Achaean League because we want to get that statue of Olympia because that'll make plus four bonus to population loyalty in all settlements, not just Greek ones. So yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? I wonder, are you like bordering the city or not? Because I want to come and attack you. So we'll go, we'll transgress. I don't care about that. So yeah, we'll transgress. Doesn't matter. Don't really care. Only just to 70% in Messene. Oh my god. That's brutal. We'll do the construction, of course, in a bit. Uh, city expands in Antiochia Morgiana. So, Camisa. Camisa's actually fine now. I don't know. What's your problem, man? What's your problem, man? Uh, I don't know. We've got so many spies. In fact, you go to Greece. We don't need you up here anymore. Go there. Another guy's died. We better check on that because it might cause rioting. Alkaos in Melatine. Oh my god, actually it does. <laughs> Let's put you on month. Uh, now leave it on yearly. Though. We'll risk it. Worst case scenario. Actually, let's just see. Oh, they have. He has built all of those. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. Fine, fine. So, have we, did we move everywhere? <laughs> I get distracted. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I get distracted by many things. Many things. Um, right, we do have this army ready now, though. Let's take you with us as well. If you'll allow us, please, sir. So, what's best, then, for us here? Is it best to go down there and then across? Or is it best to go this way? I think down and, and down and then across first probably is the best option. I don't like that that uh, army that they have there is is not that good. Um, so yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad. Up here in the north, we're finally sieging down Taxila. Good. I believe this will be Indian. Yeah, it is Indian. Good, cool. So our first Indian settlement we're going to take. Interesting. Let's just get up here just in case. Oh, there is another little settlement there. And let's go as far north. You go along the north. And then our other guy can go along the bottom. Right, well, what else do we have to do? We've got these guys moving. Keep going for Karakata. Nice, let's go. Uh, and we've also got this army. Like I say, we built the uh, watchtower there. We are actually maybe get to Karakata before the other army. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> nice. Right, let's go. And then over here, like I say, we've got this army ready to attack. I wonder what that army is then. It's quite a brutal army. We've got a pretty nice army though as well. Hmm. No general, though. I want them to kind of attack me, and I will take a defensive position. 
Got that. Let's go for it. Let's let's end on a high, guys. Let's end on a big battle. Yeah, they're neutral, but I don't care. And it has brought the guys in from the city. Good. So what do they have then? Cretan hoplites, Peloponnesian hoplites, Spidophoroi, Theroporoi. It's a mess of an army. Look at that. And Achaean Zistophoroi. Only three of them. That's their general. Wow. Whereas we've got some lovely Agirospides, but... As we know, guys, attacking with the Phalangites is an absolute fucking nightmare. So let's hope that it's not up a hill or in a forest. <laughs> so I'll see you there, guys. Yes! Yes! I don't even know how... How can I make that noise? That's horrible. I'm so sorry, guys. You had to hear that. But anyway... Um, so I think we're going to use that cheeky little new tactic of having the boys there and then the Hypastis in behind like this. Archers in the middle and then our cavalry ready to go. We don't need to per se kill this whole army. It's not a disaster if we don't. Where are they? Oh, well done. AI. Are they just going up the hill? Of course. Into the trees! You dickheads. You dickheads. You dickhead. Come on. Okay, well, if you're going to do that, what is that secondary army? They're running away from their secondary army. Just like some Uzonoi, some Hoplites. Right, well. Why do you... I mean, they are thin trees, so that's one good thing. But, uh... It's into the trees. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, AI. Why have you done this to us? Well, if they're going to do that, let's go all of our guys. Let's uh, maneuver around this way. Let's not screw about. Let's get over here. And uh, we'll get the archers, of course. Don't run. Don't need to run. Don't need to run, my friends. Don't need to run. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Because, like, I don't want to be attacking up a hill, of course. So, I will speed it up. I will see you when we, uh, when we have uh, moved into position, guys. So you're not watching all of this. Here we are, guys. And we are kind of protected by the, the, uh, the, the map here. Not something that I kind of wanted to do. But that's something that they, the AI kind of chose. Um, but it's actually quite good for us. Because it means we can just have our high pastis on one side. And uh, I think it's time. I think it's time we go and engage them, don't we, boys? So let's go. Straight forward. High past this. Get you around this side. You can protect the flank as well. Archers are not quite in range yet. Trees aren't going to be a good friend to the archers. We can also keep all our cavalry on this side as well, which does help. The gear of speed as running forward are so slow. Like, it's, it's unbelievably... They're unbelievably slow. Just get there. Go, 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 go. And then we're just going to march forward in a big block. Are we on normal pace? Yeah, we are. They just find it quite hard to uh, to run through the trees, I guess. <laughs> They're really slow, in fact. Get that down. Don't think... That's their bodyguard. Don't think that's a good idea, my friend. Let's go. Let's kill him. Kill, kill, kill. Unfortunately, he's on the other side. Looks like they're going to engage us across the front line. That's fine. That's actually fantastic for us. Right, high past this. It's your time to shine. Let's get you here if you can. Looks like they're going more for this right-hand flank. They are going to be able to flank us slightly. Well, I should probably send you two across this way. I know it's a bit of a waste. We'll get you on the other side so you can do what you need to do. What else is in here now? A Spidophoroi. This is got to be a bit careful with this. Especially with the hoplites there. Let's get out then. Let's get out. We might be able to swing back across to this other side to deal with their flanking force. I like that though. I like what we've done here. Right, let's get into the fight then. High past this. Let's go. This is a problem with phalangites because like... Now these guys are not engaged on the front line. Like, what do we do with them? Like, getting them out of position is terrible. Right. 
Let's go. Let's go kill these a spido four right. All of you boys, stay on that. Don't run away. Let's get this uh, this guy. Let's go. Let's us move forward as well. Now we've got our high pastis in the fight. They're a fantastic unit. You're getting shredded. But here comes my cavalry. Get rid of him. High pastis. Let's get you into the mercenary Peloponnesians. Again, it's quite hard to see in the trees, but uh, I think we'll be okay. If we can get rid of these Espido 4 I quite quickly. Like I say, we don't need to fully destroy this. Is that the general? That's one of the generals dead. Good. Let's get back then. Kill them. I don't know what's happening with some of these front lines here. They've turned around. Good. This poor, uh, this poor uh, high pass, this might be dead. <laughs> they are fully surrounded now. Okay, we've killed them. What do we have here then? You guys, let's get you there if we can. You boys, I think it's time to, uh, to come down this way and try and surround one of these boys. You boys, let's get you forward. Let's see whether we can uh, start dealing with some of these filthy rats on this side. Who do we have here then? Uh, can we sneak through there? I think we can. Let's go. Need to move quickly. So we've got the high pastis coming to try and save these boys. Good. Now you guys get your thing down. Start fighting. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Right, now we're in the fight. Get the phalanx down. Halt. There we are. Kill the theroperoid. Or the Thurio 4 I should I say. <laughs> Come on, get in the fight, men. Don't stand off. This is your time to shine. I pass this around this way. Cavalry, let's get in the back of those Peloponnesians. They're a very good unit, but we should be okay. Could be wary. Lots of people routing over here. So, yeah, we've got to be a bit wary. But I think we're doing decently. Turn around. Fight the Espido Foroi. These guys are all running. They're trying to go after my th uh, those boys there. How have we done? So not too well on that charge, I've got to say. Not, not as good as I was expecting. It would be nice to have some Hetairoi or Cataphracts in this army. Well, we're fully surrounded now. That's never a good thing to see. You guys turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put that down. And you should be able to kill these boys. You guys get up there. Go, go, go. High Pastis are doing quite well now against the mercenary hoplites. We got you boys. Right. Where are we going now? I think... Let's go into the back of those Cretans. Let's get our infantry round to deal with these Peloponnesians. They're quite hard, the Peloponnesians. They're nutcases, my friends. Nutcases. These poor guys, like, they're getting surrounded by the Tarantines, but the Tarantines are actually not doing very much damage. Let's make sure we attack them. Okay. That's a different general. I, I'm sure we haven't lost our general, right? Good. Okay. <laughs> That's one good thing. So they've both broken. They've all broken on this side now. Good. They're all breaking because the generals died. It looks like it. All wavering now. Okay, go. Now after the Uzonoi. Turn, 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 turn. Wait, keep fighting. One of you fight one way, the other fight the other. <laughs> Where's our cavalry? They're very tired now, the cavalry. Right, Hypastists. Get you around this way. One of you, poor Aguirre Speeder, has lost a lot of men there. I'm genuinely considering just, uh, you know, uh, merging these Aguirre Speeders and getting the reform swordsman. So who is not routed yet? Everyone's running. But, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's charge these men. In fact, who's dying here? Who's getting killed? Are we getting killed by our own archers? Very likely. You guys go after them. And then it's just you two left to charge. Keep coming. We should be able to break them on the charge. Let's go. Rally the men. 
Glorious victory, my friends. How many have we killed, though? 75%. Not too bad. We might be able to wipe out all of these boys and take the city. But I very much doubt it. Because I don't know which units are the city units. And they've probably escaped. And unfortunately, they are uh, routing in quite a nice way for them. So, cavalry. Yeah, well, those of our cavalry are just dying. Are they getting shot? They must be getting shot. Stop then. Stop firing. Stop firing. Uh, I mean, we are chasing these units, but I don't think we're going to catch them because our cavalry is just so tired. Uh, those boys are fighting them. We've got infantry all the way over here. Go on, the boys. Yeah, they're so annoyed by uh, this poor uh, Hypastus unit getting a bit shredded that they uh, that they wanted to uh, they wanted to take revenge. Let's go, let's go. Can we reach them? Very unlikely, but we can try. In fact, we will try with these boys to kill them. I think we should end it there because no, nope, let's 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 make sure we kill everything we can. Even though even if it's a tiny amount, it might be between taking the settlement or not. So we might as well go for it. Go 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 go! Kill them! Kill kill! Ah! Oh, well that was quite fun, wasn't it? Captain Theo Mester, that's a good name. I like that. Uh, but yeah. Sustained a few casualties. Greek archers doing well. 148. Wow. Greek archers coming in ham for the boys. More than the Zista 4. Right? The Agira Speeders as well. Some of them did really well. And the Hypastis actually didn't do too bad, too well at all. But some great, uh, some great fighting there. And I will see you all back on the campaign map. Victory! Here we are. And unfortunately, we didn't take it. Now, I fully expect them to come and try and kill us. Oh, my God. Is that all that survived? 79 Uzonoi. Oh, that is a that is a really frustrating one. Now, this is going to put us potentially at war with the Antigonids. But I don't care. Fuck the Antigonids, man. No one gives a fuck about them. Not the us, especially. We want them to die because we are the sole... Um, Alexandrian successor now. Uh, well, the Ptolemies still do exist, but existing as two little tiny settlements is one thing. <laughs> uh, properly surviving and thriving is another. Um, so, well, who else do we have? I mean, Epirus does still exist, and they start the campaign with their, um, their leader being the nephew of Alexander, so I guess we'll have to take them out as well. But the Antigonids are the real... The only real threat left. Pergamon is dead. Oh, Kyrene as well. Kyrene's our ally, though, and they will stay our ally. I mean, we'll just claim that they've been uh, integrated into our empire, I guess, as a nice little uh, protectorate for us. But everyone else has bit the dust due to us, which is fantastic. So let's uh, let's go through our building then, and this time... No, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not get salty for no reason. So let's use this instead. Uh, what do we want over here then? I'm thinking... Uh, militia barracks. <laughs> Odessa, let's go. Arbella, let's go with... How is the corruption here? No corruption. So I'm thinking Temple of Taiki because although it's saying, yeah, it's the same bonus as before, but when we start getting the bigger and higher levels, it'll uh, it'll start making more and more bonuses for us. Duro Eparos. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Alexandria Charax. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have first level military buildings everywhere soon. I don't think that's an issue at all. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're not a huge city yet at Sardis. Mainly because we've just been recruiting men out of the arse here. Um, oh, let's go for the Hephaestus, just in case. Sagalassos, let's 
go for the Temple of Hera. Iconion, let's have a look. Yeah, definitely that one. Iconion's still just a minor city. We've built literally everything in there, actually. Or, or someone else has. Probably not us. <laughs> Probably Cappadocia. Uh, Tarsos, let's go for the, uh, for the Agora. Elusa, just upgraded. Nice. Good thing to see. Let's go for that. Lycon Polis. Let's also go for the Agora. Kai Zikos. Let's go for those inland trade centers. Adramition. Let's go for the inland trade center as well. Very, very, very nice buildings. Give you so much money. Uh, Alexandria Troas is actually a little bit unhappy. So let's go for the um, Odeon. Raithu. Let's go for the military building. Thyatera. Probably go for the Agora. We're spending a bit more money than we normally would, but because we're not building everywhere again, it's probably just worth just building the best buildings we can find for these regions. Antiochia Meandros. Let's go for that one. Traleus. Let's go for the irrigation, potentially. Everything's quite cheap in there, so that's good. Uh, Deliche got the Greek, so let's keep going with that one. Trying to make it Greek. Artemita. Let's go for the practice range. Okay. No, probably not worth it. Just trying to hear her then. Arhapa. Arhapa's actually not growing right now. So definitely worth getting the irrigation. Is Crop rotation. We've got crop rotation in Is. Let's go for the irrigation as well. Because again, it's not growing very much. Pasagardi. Let's go for the market. Antiochia Medias. Taioki. Uh, Taioki, how are you? You're 100% Iranian. Let's start going for a bit of Greek conversion there as well. Tyre, let's go for the dockyard. Get a bit of extra trade. Militos, let's go for the same as well. Nice bit of trade over there. Myos Hormos. Hmm. I think the Agora is probably the option here. Yeah, although corruption... No, let's go for the, the military building. <laughs> Trying to change it up a bit, okay? <laughs> Philadelphia, let's go for the market. Not the cheese, of course. Termesos, let's go for the market as well. I can't believe you've not got a market some of these places. Wow. Uh, Arsinoclisma, we don't have anyone in there right now. Let's go for that temple of Hera then. Uh, Samos. Let's go for the large temple of Taiki. It only costs six, <laughs> 600 <laughs> Oxy ring costs. Yeah, look at these. Like These religious buildings are so cheap. <laughs> it's so good. Oxy ring costs. You're actually a pretty nice city, I've got to say. Um, just not that much for us to build here, really. The Great Agora we could build, but you're not making enough money to really be that good. So let's go for the large temple of Hera. Zessies. Let's go. See, the Agora is quite expensive. Just get the uh, Temple of Taiki, actually. Uh, Hermupolis. Let's have a look. Great Agora, again, is the option, but it's so expensive. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, it's just so expensive. Petra, let's go for those public baths. Bostra, let's go for the crop rotation. Start getting a bit more growth in some of these... Regions that aren't growing very well. Mothis, let's go for the crop rotation as well. Karakata, you are our recruitment hub in this region, so definitely worth building up the stables now for that. Uh, Tachomp Tachompso, oh wait, actually, Char Karakata. So remember, guys, when you are building up your armies, this is a level three barracks, but we only have a level two colony. So in order to get the third level, we need the Colony 3 Greek. Now, if it's native Greek, we don't need to build that. That's why I'm always going on, banging on about trying to find native Greek cultures for recruitment hubs, because we don't need to do this building. Uh, but yeah, let's build that so we can get the third level of uh, military um, units in that settlement. Tachomko Selkis, let's get some happiness here. Go for the Shrine to Hera. Uh, Antiochia Oikodomon. Ariathon as well. Let's go for the market. To Ion. Militia Barracks, definitely. <laughs> Bactra Zariaspa. Uh, 10,000 from here now. Still got a bit of corruption. 
Hmm. Well, let's go Shrine to Hera. I would love... Oh, look at that trade, though. I, I, I'm going to just bite the corruption here. That's one of the few places where I'll bite the corruption. Because I think we can probably reduce that corruption a little bit more with, like, say, the Academy uh, line. Um... Yeah, let's go for the Shrine to Taiki at least for now. And then we can kind of decide later what we want to do. Daraspa, let's go for the public baths. Maruka got the public baths. So let's go for the Shrine to Taiki there as well. Ptolemaeus Theron. I mean, pointless settlement really. <laughs> Build that. Uh, Sesamos, let's go for that law. Bactria Besalion, let's go for the sewers there. Uh, Anios Apopolilulus. Let's go for that one. Come on, Pontos. Let's go for the sewers. Sewers are always good. Population growth and a bit of happiness. What more is there to have in life? Lithinos Pergos. Let's also go for the sewers there. Happiness and population growth. Alexandria Caucasia. Uh, Again, not exactly a hugely important settlement for us right now. Same with Autospana. Let's go for the sewers for both of those. And Camisa is unhappy. Let's go for the sewers. We've got 9,000 left. So maybe we can start to get a few more different buildings in here. Let's go for the Shrine to Hera there. Try and find the regions we're not building in anymore. Uh, Sinope. Oh, no. We forgot about Sinope. One of my favorite cities. Antiochia, Scythia. Let's go for the Odeon. Nice and cheap. Gangra. Let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. Heraclea Pontos. Let's also go for a temple because it's cheap. See if we can start... See if we can be building in everywhere again, my friends. <laughs> Trying to Taiki and Berenike Trogadite. Okay, you can actually upgrade Antiochia Zabinas. Nice, and then we don't have enough. How many are we not building in? I mean, it's a few, maybe 10, 12, 15, something like that. Ah, but it's not too bad, is it? It's really not too bad. I can't complain too much. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. How many regions do we actually have now? 204, guys. 204. Nice. That is fantastic. Well then, guys, it's been a bit of a longer episode, I guess, to make up for last time. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.